Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we have an essential topic to discuss, the current ratio. Whether you're a business owner, investor, or simply interested in financial analysis, understanding the current ratio is crucial. First things first, what exactly is the current ratio? Well, the current ratio is a financial metric that helps assess a company's short-term liquidity and its ability to meet its short-term obligations. It measures the company's ability to cover its current liabilities using its current assets. In simple terms, it indicates whether a company has enough resources to pay off its debts in the near future. Now, let's talk about how to calculate the current ratio. The formula is quite straightforward. To find the current ratio, you divide a company's current assets by its current liabilities. To give you a better understanding, let's go through a couple of examples of current assets and current liabilities. Current assets include cash, accounts receivable, inventory, and any other assets that are expected to be converted into cash within one year. On the other hand, current liabilities include accounts payable, short-term debt, and any other obligations that need to be settled within one year. Now, let's apply the formula to calculate the current ratio. Imagine we have company XYZ with current assets of $500,000 and current liabilities of $250,000. By dividing the current assets by the current liabilities, we get a current ratio of 2. So, what does this current ratio of 2 indicate? A current ratio above 1 suggests that the company has more current assets than current liabilities, indicating a good liquidity position. In this case, company XYZ has twice as many assets as liabilities, which generally indicates a healthy financial position. To summarize, the current ratio is a crucial financial metric that helps evaluate a company's short-term liquidity. By dividing current assets by current liabilities, we can determine whether a company has enough resources to cover its short-term obligations. Remember, a current ratio above 1 is generally desirable, indicating a healthier financial position. That's it for today's video on the current ratio guide. I hope you found it informative and helpful. If you have any questions or want to learn more about financial ratios, please let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.